Hi, I'm going to show you how to install Coder OSS into a Kubernetes cluster. So let's assume that you have a cluster already created. On the top left, we're going to create a namespace. I'm going to call this one Coder OSS Video. And after that, we're going to install Postgres into the cluster. This is good for trials and things like that. You're going to see I added the chart to get Postgres, and I'll do the Helm install. Okay, you'll see the Postgres pod is running in the cluster. Now we're going to base 64, the Postgres, uh, the Postgres connection URL. So I'll grab that. You'll notice it has the namespace in this string. And this is what lets the, the coder control plane talk to Postgres. We're going to save this into a file. I have VS Code here on the bottom locally. And you'll see I've created a coder DB secret YAML, and there is that uh, that's that base 64 string, and then I created a values YAML file, and you'll see I have a section for the coder BG connection URL with a reference to that secret, and we also have to basically make this as a secret in that namespace in the cluster. Okay, you'll see I added that secret into the namespace. And I just want to point out one more time, um, I go back into the values YAML file. I, I also have created an entry that I'm going to use to log in in a browser. It's called coder-ossvideo.demo.coder.com. So after I run Helm install, it's going to produce an external IP address, and I'll need to go and add this into that, um, into that DNS record. So let's do the Helm install. Oh. And if we keep control, get all, we should see the pod created for coder. It's running, and we're just waiting on the external IP address, which should be produced shortly. OK, you'll see the external IP address. In this case, I'm using Google Cloud DNS, and I have a DNS record. Put the address there and put in the name that was specified in the values YAML file, which was coder oss video as the access URL, and press create. Okay, I went to coderossvideo.demo.coder.com and I'm going to create my admin user. So call this Microsoft. Username B Gates. Bill at Microsoft.com. Password. And I am now set up to create my first template. Now we have a default template in there for a pod. So I need to make one quick change. I need to change the namespace on that. So I'm gonna on the bottom left, I'm gonna launch the I'm gonna run the coder CLI or run coder templates init. We have several samples out there. And if I scroll up, I should see one for Kubernetes, which is the same one that's already inside of coder. I'm gonna CD into that directory. And I'm gonna, you'll see there's two files there, a main tiff and a readme markdown. I'm gonna open the main tiff and change the main, main space to be the one that I'm using. So you'll notice there's a var called namespace. It defaults to coder workspaces. I'm going to change this to coder OSS video save. And then we need to upload this change. So we're going to do coder templates push. And the name of the template encoder is Kubernetes. And we'll run this. Oh, we need the first login. My bad. We need to log into the coder deployment. Coder OSS video. And we need our session token to log into the CLI. And now we can run that push command. OK, now that the template has been updated, we can go into the template within the UI, click on Create New Workspace. I'll call this VS Code and submit. And we'll see the workspace get created. OK, you'll see the workspace has been created. On the top left, you'll see the pod running, Coder bgates VS Code, and we'll launch code server in a browser. Okay, you'll see VS Code running. 
And thank you for your time. If you have any more questions, go to coder.com. Thank you.